Hi, The Women's Prize for Fiction. I have got another book. Um, the sentence. So that means I have only got two to read, two to get from the library before the prize winners are announced next month. So fingers crossed I can get those last two. I'm single in single figures now on the reserve list, so whatever. Right, so this one. I really liked it. It's a ghost story almost, but it takes us right up to present time. The main character is Tuki, and she's an, if I'm saying this right, an Ojibwe woman. She's a Native American. And because of indiscretions in her youth, she ended up being sentenced to 60 years in prison. And when you read the crime that she committed, it's almost a comic cake, comic crime caper. You know, it's something you probably see on TV because it is just so bizarre, this crime she commits for which she gets 60 years. While she's in jail, she develops a love of books and she reads and reads and reads. She does get let out before her 60 years. And when she gets let out, she works, finds a job in a bookshop, in a bookstore. And she also finds love. She also gets married um, to a wonderful guy, Pollux. And he is a lovely character. He's a, a, an amazing guy. And she also gets a, a daughter because Pollux has got a niece, Heta. So she comes out of jail. She's got a family. She works in a bookstore. And then one of her customers, Flora, she dies and this is almost the start of the story because Flora starts haunting the bookstore. Every time Tuki is there she's aware of the sound of Flora's bracelets, the swish of her clothes across the bookshelf, bookshelves. She knows that she's there and the book is really her um, her, her desire to get rid of this ghost, to sort of send this ghost off where it should be and not in the bookstore. During the book, we come to present day, we come to coronavirus, we come to lockdowns, we come to the George Floyd murder, because this book is set in, um, oh, I'm just going to say Minneapolis, Minneapolis. So, you have Tucky describing what's going on there. But what I really loved is the way that the bookstore almost becomes a character. Because during this lockdown, the bookstore is classed as essential. And so the Tucky is still working at the bookstore and it's getting busier and busier as we, people are getting ordering their online books. And all the time, Flora is haunting the place. And I loved it. I really did. There are so many books mentioned in this because Tuki is always recommending books. And another thing I really like is right at the back, you get Tuki's recommendations. You have a whole section devoted to all the books that Tuki has um, recommended. And that was brilliant. I love, I love that. I'm going to have to work out which ones I need to put on my to read list. There are wonderful characters in this book, not just Tucky and Pollux, but the other people in the bookstore. They are whole characters. They are wonderful. You really get to know them. You also get an insight into Native American traditions, history, rituals. And as regards the title, the sentence, it's got many meanings, hasn't it? Because the sentence, it's the sentence that Tuki got, her 60 years. She talks in the book about the most beautiful sentence in the world. The sentences that can heal you, the sentences that can break you. And for a title, especially a book about books, and set in a bookstore, 
couldn't get a better title. So I love this one. I, I would really like to see this one win. So the sentence, happy reading, take care.